Yeah, we can have like the all. No. No? Okay. People will be offended. I know, and like, and every, like Google and YouTube are just like, oh! When somebody accuses you, I'm offended. Like, oh my god, what can we do for you? What can we do? Make you unoffended. Nothing uncommon, really. Like, just. This kind of thing is just normal for you. Also, that's a polygon door. That's an interesting. I never noticed that before. I wonder if like something can bust through that. I never once saw. So. What? A zombie joke. Yeah. What's a zombie's favorite toy? Hey, I, I don't know. A daddy bear. Right, can I cut that one too? Hey, <laughs> sure. <laughs> What? Okay, thanks. <coughs> you got any other interesting facts? Or questions? Or jokes? Mm -hmm. I don't think that was a fact. It was, yeah, it was something. I just couldn't really describe it. Sorry. What did the zombie do after he dumped his girlfriend? <laughs> I don't know. He wiped his butt. He what? He wiped his oh, butt. Okay, that's retarded. That's deeply What's the offensive. zombie's favorite shampoo? My favorite shampoo. I have no idea. Head and shoulders. Get it? Yeah. Alright, enough of that shit. Actually, I probably... Uh... Just in case... What does it what? take to become a zombie? Guts. No. Not a guess. Political action party. Dedication. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Like I said before, George Romero directed the beginning of this movie. This was not the highlight of his career. And can you tell us something about George Romero, Weenus? Yeah, he did uh, Night of the Living Dead. That's right. And Dawn of the Dead. Real big zombie that. fetish. I think he's got moral fetishes. I think that's what that director's problem is. Like, I'm really seriously wondering if people at that like, have like really big into zombies have serious issues with like interpersonal boundaries. You know? Something about the fetish the fetishizing of cannibalism. What do vegetarian zombies crave? Vegans, I guess. Grains. More grains. Who the hell comes up with this shit? That's really terrible. I don't know. <laughs> that one, that's, this is... What did the zombie's friend say when he induced Hold him on. to his new girlfriend? I need to think for a second. Snake! Oh no, it's that snake! Yeah, seriously, like, like those teeth would not just seriously impale you. Like, the, like the poison would be any point of concern. <laughs> Let's see if I can quick save it. Let's see if I'll pull through this. Well, he is not well programmed. Okay. Alright, that's... Okay, we're going through each other here. Alright. Oh, that never happened! Let's save. What's up? Damn it, you bastard! 
bastard. Okay, yeah, I screwed this up. I'm gonna go yeah, I mean, I think that's, you could just totally just to screw that whole fight over. So, what does this? Oh, see now, take the serum now. Give me the serum. You have the serum special. Really? Yeah, apparently. It's in your pocket, bro. <clears throat> Who dies with the serum in that pocket? I have no idea. Oh my god. Take her walkie talkie too. Have like a really high and her gun resistance. too. She's incompetent. There's no point in wasting ammunition on the guy if you don't have to fight him. Just take the hits and go. Check, yeah, because I might need that. Surprisingly useful. If you time it a lot better, you can, get, you can draw the snake out. See, like, okay, he carried me down the stairs and did not have the common courtesy at least kill the zombie. No. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah, really. much better job with that snake by simply like kiting him down the hall and then turning back grabbing the item and running by the way that broken shotgun there would be used for that trap if I went another way the, the, the ceiling trap uh. <coughs> I'll get the pistol ammunition in a minute <coughs> I just want to fill up both slots <coughs> I'm going to go to my remaining slots. Mm -hmm. 